qualifiers for this game are Dee Adamson and uh, M. Blewett. M. Blewett's taking the centre bounce. There's a siren. John Keane got the rock. Fairly heavy work in early on in the game. It's a free to Michael Packer. Drives it long down to the forward lines. It's Tim Blewett being tackled there. Good tackle there by Kim McAvoy, uh, Kane McAvoy, sorry. Umpire Adamson's bouncing down again. Oh, and a decent bounce it is too. <laughs> Good knock work there by John Keane to Dallas Keane on to Trevor May. He missed kicks. He's pushed by Tommy George there. Got over to Scott Jarvis, 24. Taken by Kimmy Waters, nice little balk there. And a kick to... I'm not sure who that is, I think that's Brad Millett. We've got him scrubbed out. We have. And Mark's been taken by Christian. Yeah, hand, handball's on the Trumpy. Taken by two bits, but there's a free to uh, Trevor, May. Trevor May. He kicks off over to Moran on the back pocket. He's looking downfield for a movement. Fairly Good long. kick down to the wing. Frisky. Beautiful Frisky. grab. What a screamer. Not pay, his play on. No, he's bringing no. it back. What a grab. That'd be one, one of the best of the weekend, actually. Uh, he like, I think he likes to take one in each game if he can. Oh, does he now? <laughs> <laughs> a a drive lo locally up to Sinar Ford. Knocked on. Taken by Two Bits, Shay Mason. Okay. John Hastings hits a kick towards goal, but been marked by Lincoln Dick. City there. Last line. That's Clinton Bennett, that is. Over to Tommy George in the pocket there. Tom George plays for Waybacks in the Lincoln, in Lincoln League. Dallas Keane gets a handball in infield to Sean Humby. He kicks forward again. That's going to be marked by Lincoln City yeah, there. Scotty Jarvis taking that grab again. Bit of a disgraceful kick into the centre there. That's been marked again by Sean Humby. He plays on. Looking for Kim Newton, and he takes a good mark. Nice grab, that one. Approximately 50 metres out. Yeah, just on the 50 metre line. Ben Hogan makes a bit of a lead there, but... He passes off. Kane Williams marked just out in front of goal and it'll be on a slight angle there. He's a good player, I saw him play sad day. He took a few grabs around yes. the ground. Yep. You know, he's a young bloke. Got a lot of football ahead of him yet. Low trajectory kick, but it's only gone for a minor score, I think. This score up. Full back City's kicking out. Well read by Handball the Miss Webbs. Johnny Hastings there. He kicked forward. Tommy George has got it now. Driving it long. Bit of a mongrel kick that one. Handball there. Oh, onto John Keane. He slips over. Handball is infield. John Hastings picks it up and drives forward. Looking. Tommy George no. contests very nicely. Taken by Adrian Higgins, driven up to the wing, up to Tim Blewett's area. That's Kane Williams just gave off the handball there. Kane McAvoy there looking for and searching into the centre, finds Juddy McCormack. He kicks out to the far forward flank and he's finding Trevor May there, he plays on. On to Michael Baldock, who I think will take a shot for goal from there. Midwest players seem to have it all over the... Uh, Lincoln City side at the moment, early on in the game. Seem to be getting quite a few loose players. Just judging on the uh, earlier game, there seemed to be a bit of a win advantage to that end, but uh, the flags are reasonably limp at the moment. 
He's offline and only scores a point, I think. Yes. Uh, I think in the previous game it would have been a, at least a four or five goal breeze. Yeah, yeah well, something like that. Just kick out to Tom George in the pocket there, takes the uh, mark. And drives it down. Bit of a misjudge in the kick. Dane Williams takes it on two grabs there. Driven out the attempt of the mark by Jason O'Brien. John Hastings gets a handball out, misses the man. He's backing up strongly though. And he's got regained control and looking forward. Looking for Ben Hogan. Aiden Higgins has got the ball there. And there's Scotty Jarvis is contesting again. Frisky gets a handball onto Keane, gets a hurried kick onwards. Uh, I think there's a, the spoil by Ron Evans. Yeah. Vice captain for another the city side. We're peppering the goals here at the moment. Always want yeah, to use got... that word, peppering. Great word. Yeah. What are we, three points at this stage to no score from Lincoln City. Ball's been kicked out on the fall. It's been going to be kicked in. I think it's Michael Baldock over there. Very low. Daisy cutter of a kick to Kane McAvoy. He's taking a mark close to the ground. Kane plays for the Elliston Club in the Midwest League at this for this year. <laughs> That's a lovely kick. Yes, I think he scored a goal that time. Well, first up, opening goal. For mid, uh, yes, Midwest. Opening signs for the game. Looks like uh, Midwest is very strong marking side and very highly skilled. We'll have to see what uh, Lincoln City comes up with. They've also got a, a number of very skilled players. Umpire Adamson to put the ball down. Bayonets favours John Keane and gets a two handed tap. That's picked up by Lincoln City. Hastings has picked the ball and has a left legged quick kick. Handball from Kane Williams onto Dallas Keane. That's well done there by the uh, Lincoln City fullback. Just kicked Dallas it away. Keane. Dallas Keane followed up and another hurried kick that's going to be uh, forced over the line. And it was forced over by uh, Adrian Higgins. Bulldog taps the ball in infield. Looks like uh, Trumpy there. Ball was, has been forced over there. Right, on the half back flank. Chips oh, it. Short kick very short. Play it on the umpire. Quite lucky that Tom George had the presence of mind to flick it back very quickly to uh, Adrian Higgins. It's still being hotly contested. Nice little kick there. I'm quite sure who that is. Been marked by Juddy McCormack, just forward of the centre wing. He's looking for Ben Hogan, who's out on the lead. Ball's been punched away from him and yeah, over the boundary line. Clint Bennett punched away very nicely there, and a fair bit of pressure. Throw in, rucked by Scotty Jarvis there, over to Adrian Higgins. He's going to play it to the boundary line nice and safely. One of Higo's fortes, that. Coming up to the 10 minute mark, and Midwest have done most of the forward thrusts at this stage, but uh, so far they've only managed to kick one goal three. Well, Lincoln City haven't even had it into their forward lines yet, so they're dominating play here. Kim Newton looking towards goal, but he's offline and only going to score a minor. See what they can do with their kick out this time. Just chips it over to Tom George. Clint Bennett chips to Tom George there. Tom George looks like he's directing play a bit here. Bangs it long down into the uh, half-back region. 
Kane Williams was fine, but he's missed the mark. Taken by Shane Mason. Over to Tim Blewett here. Into the centre to Darren Miller. He's, he's tackled, tackled strongly by Trevor May. He could tackle too. Umpire's going to call for a ball up. Advance down. John Keane gets a tap over the top. That's uh, been picked up by Lincoln Michael City Packer. players. Dallas Keane gets a handball out to Trevor May. Has a left-legged kick. And Ben Hogan's got that one in the bread basket there. And I would estimate about 40 metres from goal. Uh, Ben's also playing for the Elliston Club this year and uh, doing pretty well with his goal kicking. He's a fairly large size to his frame. He's a big, strong lad. And kicks and kicks strong. truly. Yes. Now that's the first for Ben Hogan and the second to Midwest, who now moved to two goal four to no score from Lincoln City at this stage, but um, I'm sure they will be soon on the board. Yes, it's a very one-sided game at the moment. Let's wait for the second quarter to see whether or not uh, the wind has a fair bit to do with that or not. Mm. Although it looks like the Midwest players are, are really matching up very well. Back into the centre here. Yes, I think it'll certainly be one of the better Midwest sides they've had for a few years. There's been a good influx of quality players over the last couple of years it's like into the association. Looks like Midwest got the, uh, the ruck there. Uh, it's another bounce. Umpires aren't doing too bad a job here at the moment, don't seem, seem to no, notice them too much. Yes, no, they look to be doing quite a good, fair job. Uh, three free Johnny Kane there. He's also playing for Elson, isn't he? Is that right? that, yes, he is. Yeah. He handles on to Dallas. Keane, he gets a hurried on kick. Down in the Hogan again. Oh, he's, I think he's given a little push there. Yeah, free to Clinton Bennett there for the push. Doesn't seem to have too many options at the moment. No, they're well covered at this stage. So he changes tack to Higo on the, uh, the half back line. Dale Elliott out there from Streaky Bay, landing a bit of strong body. Kane yeah. McAvoy's kicked towards the goal, but uh, marked on the last line of defence there by Lincoln City. Yeah, marked by Tommy George. And I think Lincoln City were fairly fortunate there, a two-on-one situation. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. So the boundary throw in. Deep in the pocket there. Kane Williams contesting from Midwest. He handballs it out. Comes out to Shane Mason and all well, flicked on very cleverly by uh, Tim Blewett over to Michael Packer. Tim Blewett again. Dale Elliott gets a handball to Kim Newton. He's looking inboard and he finds John Hastings right at centre half forward. A nice controlled kick to John Hastings is in his second year playing with Central Air in the Midwest League and quite a very good little player, very busy. Centering kick into Trevor May there. Yes. And taken on the chest. And you'll kick from about 45 metres directly in front of goal. Oh, that's a delightful kick. It just seems to be slewing yeah. off the side a little yes, bit. No, he's just offline. Gives the, uh, the goalpost a bit of a nudge. So that's the point. Yeah, Trevor's had a bit of experience in Adelaide with Port Adelaide in previous years and come back to the coast last year, back on the family farm. And he's the captain up there and he's captain also of the Midwest side here today. Oh, it's back into the centre here. Uh, Midwest players, oh, there's Wade traffic in there. It's a handball to Kim Newton, he dodges around two players, has a little left foot chip to Kane Williams, just on the line of the fit, uh, centre square. Drives it down long into the uh, forward line. Clinton Bennett's there cleaning up. Handball's out to Tommy George, and he's got a few metres to spare. Nice little chip down there to uh, Isaac Christian. He handles on to Michael. Michael Packer. Britt Grokey comes into the play. Chased hard by uh, Jason O'Brien for Lincoln City and the mark taken by Ron Evans. He plays for Lincoln South. 
Ah, uh, nice grab there by, well, not over. paid though, by Matty Foster. Yeah, Wade O'Brien was a bit behind then. I think the Lincoln City guy was a bit unlucky not to be paid that mark. Matthew Foster actually uh, plays for Waybacks, but he's originally from around Woodnerway. Yes, he is. He's a Woodner lad. Bounce down. Oh, nice rucking there by uh, Johnny Kane. Half time in the AFL. Hand by the chain mason to Matthew Foster. And the ball's going to be bottled up here, I think. Uh, yes, umpire's going to blow it up. About oh, 25 metres from the Lincoln goal line. So, uh, Lincoln City's first foray into attack for this quarter. Nice little tap down. Dallas Keane getting the left foot kicked forward, looking for John Hastings, who's got to compete with two other Lincoln players there. Yeah, Scotty Jarvis over Dale here, out. back to Ron Evans. Ron Evans has got a bit of time here. Drives long down into the forward line. Moran at the back, almost got a grab there. John Keane handballs to Wade O'Brien, who's looking to switch play across to the other side, looking for Britt Grokey. He handballs out to Kim Newton, who's also coming a bit wider, looking for Inky Hood, who marks just just behind the centre wing. Yeah, they're using the vision very well, the switching play, yeah, very nicely. Just another little chip to Trevor May on the wing here. Yeah. Hand, uh, just another chip on to Britt Grokey. He plays on, he's looking long. Oh, not a real good kick, Britt. And he's put it into Lincoln City's arms there. That was Troy Callis, actually, who took that mark. David Bennett there battling for the ball on the bottom. Dallas Keane gets comes away from the pack, and kicks forward. Ben Hogan's no. Nice punch by uh, Clinton Bennett there. But Hogan's still in control. He taps it on. Link Hogan might be getting a free kick here. He's been manhandled a bit there. Tripped up. He's going to go back and shoot for goal. I would reckon. One fairly, lead there from Dale Elliott. Fairly acute angle he's on too. Be a good yep. goal if he kicks this one. Distance won't be a problem. Kicks. And I think he's off beam. Just for a minor score again. That takes Midwest to two goal six. Lincoln City no score at the moment. Adrian Higgins to kick out for Lincoln City. Sizing up his options here. Kicks out to the 50 metre line. Dave Bennett's going to mark that. Yeah. Good mark, Dave. Used the body well. Yeah, good body. He looks for Dallas Keane, who's marked the ball out in front of him. Umpire's coming up to mark. He, you know, he's played on John Hastings. He'd be 30, 35 metres from goal. John's not the most accurate kick for goal at this season. He's normally quite good, but he's lost a bit of confidence or something and not kicking real well, but uh, let's see how he goes here. And he's pushed it to the right there for a point. Yes. Uh, Clinton, Clinton Bennett to take the kick out, kicks to himself. He's changes. Pressured by Matt, uh, Ben Hogan. Kicks out to Adrian Higgins for Lincoln City. Hasn't got many options down the field, so he's just uh, steadied up a bit. S small chip into Kim Waters. He also plays for the way back side in City in, the, in Lincoln. He drives down to the wing, and the mark taken there by Shane Mason, also known as Two Bits. Justin McCormick's picked it up. He's handballed on to Dallas Keane. His handball's in infield, but Brett it's been taken, took that. By, taken by City players. Over to Ron Evans there. And he's driving it into the... You know, he's gone over the centre forward line. John Keane's fumbled mark there. Sean Humby gets a kick just forward of centre to John Hastings, who dodges around his opponent. Kicks into centre half forward, and the mark's been taken there by Michael Baldock from Wirrilla. It's a nice piece, piece of play there. Kicked out by Clinton Bennett, but out to Trevor May. He drives it back into the uh, forward pocket again. 
and still in play. Frisky has a swipe at the ball with his boot and it's tumbled through from behind. Short kick there from Lincoln City to just behind centre half forward. Mark taken by Brad Millick. He drives it down to the wing. Nice mark there by Ron Evans. Just judged it a little bit better. Gets it on quickly to uh, Tim Blewett. He gives it a handball. Just handballs it to himself, virtually. Uh, that's Mark Williams there. Just Rick Grokey laying the tackle there, forcing the ball to come free. Mark Williams is in here. He's fallen over, though. And looks like it's going to be a bounce up on the far wing. Yes, there doesn't seem to be a lot of urgency in the game at this stage. Um, no, Midwest look to have things under control fairly well. They've got a, you can already hear, you can hear it quite clearly from up here. They're talking very well. A good voice. Taken by Scotty Jarvis, a handball to Tim Blewett. Uh, Scotty Jarvis then soccers it on to Jason O'Brien. Uses a bit of pace here, kicks it. Kicks going across goal and going to tumble out. <laughs> Be thrown in just just around from the Lincoln City point post. Ruck contesting. John Keane gets one hand to it, but ball taken not by a Tommy decisive. George and uh, kicked out on um, out on the full by Tom George there. But a nice attempt. Kick to be taken by Trevor May. If they ever give it back. Changes play over to the other wing. Out for Wade O'Brien. He's he's bumped out of it and is going to receive the free. Yeah, interfered with by the... He handballs on to Dale Elliott. Goes for a short kick right into the centre of the field. Dallas Keane handballs on to Kim Newton, who's looking downfield. Kane Williams flies. Good contest there. Being mocked up by Troy Callis. He falls over, though. And looks like again another bounce down. Umpire Blewett comes in to take control of the situation. Yeah, one of the Lincoln City players here got a bit of a bang on the back of the head, I think, in one of the contests there. He's in the hands of the trainer at this stage. I'm not sure who that is at the moment. This guy's got a bit looks of blood like coming out of there. Looks like he might be coming oh, out. Delightful mark taken by Ben Hogan. Just used his judgment. I can't see the number on this. Number 11. Uh, Clint Bennett, full back for uh, Lincoln City. Looks like he's got some type of gash. Meanwhile, Ben Hogan's lining up for goal. Kicks through with ease. Ends up with another major score. Yes. Oh, there's a, quite a bit of blood coming out of uh, Clint yeah. Bud's head there. It's yeah. really gushing out. It's going to be in a fair bit of uh, pain. And he's replaced by Adrian Higgins, who comes back onto the ground, the uh, Lincoln City captain. Scores at the moment, Midwest 3-8, 26. Lincoln City yet to score. Umpire Adamson is going to put the ball down, restart proceedings. The rucks fly for it, Keane gets a tap to Trevor May. Plays on, kicks forward. Ben Hogan's behind on this occasion. Kim Newton gets a handball onwards, but it's... Scotty Jarvis did a very good job there, just getting in front. Now he's trying to block it up. Gets Couldn't up. get his kick away, or just barely. Fox Frisky has a bit of a stab at the goals. Oh, that's bad luck. That was a good kick too. Sized up his options just, very nicely. Just shaved the post. <laughs> Uh, Tom George is kicking out there for Lincoln City. And he gets the all clear. Looking to go straight up the centre. Trevor May's contesting there. Ball comes free. It's all Midwest there. Puts his teammate under a fair bit of pressure there with that handball, but uh, looks like it's going to work out. Hastings kicks forward and kicks truly. That's goal number four for Midwest. And we're just about on the 25 minute mark for the first quarter. Lincoln City are quite fortunate that uh, Midwest aren't kicking straight ahead though. The game would just better be all over by now. It's 
still there is a reasonable breeze actually uh, on the grounds. It's dropped off a little bit. Yeah. Plenty of encouragement coming from Juddy McCormick there to restart, urging his teammates on. Umpire Adamson is uh, bouncing down again. Johnny Keane gets the tap there. And pile up here, I think. Okay. Kane McAvoy got a kick forward there, but the umpire's blown it up and uh, the ball will come back for another bounce. Just on the centre square line. Close to Midwest centre forward line. And there's a siren to end the first quarter. Scores 4-9 for Midwest, 33 to no score for Lincoln City. It's good opening there by Midwest. I'll have to see if this next quarter whether it was just uh, the breeze or it was yes, good play. No. It looked like good play to me. Yeah, no. They're in It'll control. Be, just judging on the previous game, there certainly was an advantage there, but the wind does appear to have dropped out a bit to what it was earlier in the day. Coach for uh, Lincoln City, Ron Simpson, is actually also the coach for Wayback, seems to have his hands full. Looked down there at uh, halfway through that quarter and he's already scratching his head thinking what he could do. But uh, as we say, it's, it's only the first quarter. Anything can happen. Yes, early days yet. Fans gathering around the Midwest team, a few coming over to the Lincoln City side, but a lot of country visitors to town this weekend to see how their local teams go. And annual ship Mortlock Shield. And if you listen very, uh, if you listen quite hard, you can actually hear Ron Simpson yelling at his players. So he's not very satisfied at all, laying down the law and. Uh, Pointing his finger with his uh, pointing, pointing his finger with a fair bit of uh, haste. It's like uh, Blewett's just looking for the all clear for umpire Adamson. He gets the nod, and we have the bounce down for the second quarter. Get the game underway again. Down it goes. It's a good bounce too. Keane gets the tap. Gets down it. to Hastings. He's he's tackled for dropping the ball. Well tackled too. The uh, free kick taken by Tim Blewett. Hasn't got many options at the moment. Decides to drive long into the uh, half forward line. Punched away there by Dallas Keane, but I think there's a bit of inter interference there over the shoulder. Yeah, I think Mick Packer was interfered with there. And we're just, uh, just past the 50 metre line. Long kick into the forward line. Puts it high up in there, doesn't give forwards much of a chance. A little bad Good. attempt there. Guru gets the punch in. Guru Moran. The uh, punches the ball over the boundary line there. <laughs> Kick out by uh, Moran. The ball by taken him. by Akehurst, driven long into right towards Tim Blewett. There. Well contested here. He's handled it back into Adrian Higgins. He's hot. Hastings picks the ball up. Handballs out to. Can't Lovely. That Britt Grokey, I believe. Lovely dummy that was. On. Sean Humby kicks to the centre wing. Mark taken by John Keane. Uh, poor handball, though, although Dallas he's quite Keane fortunate. Comes, picks the ball up. Wade O'Brien's picking the ball up. Handball's back to Kane McAvoy, who's missed it. Mick Black has taken it. He's handled it to Ron Evans. He's got a bit of time here. D drives down to uh, Shane Mason. Gets the call from Jason O'Brien. Ducks around Trev May. And he thumps it down into the full line, and that looks like a goal. That's the first goal to Lincoln City. Maybe there is something in the end of the ground, Andrew. Maybe there is some hope after all. Yeah. Might have been the speech by Ron Simpson at the quarter time. Adrian Higgins is marshalling the troops here. Getting things organised, just coming over to the wing. 
This is a reasonable breeze coming up now. Maybe a two to three goal breeze if you're lucky. Adamson puts the ball down. Rucks fly for it. Keane gets the tap. He seems to be winning the rucks pretty well. Ben Hogan at the back held his man pretty well. And the umpire's paid him the mark and coming in to line him up for goal. Those uh, Midwest wingers and running players seem to be uh, reading the, the ball off hands a lot better than Lincoln City players at the moment. Hogan lines up for goal very deliberately. Yeah. That's, that's just a quick answer from Midwest. Ben Hogan. It's his second, I think. That's a fair kick from there too, actually, into that yeah. breeze. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what Lincoln City can do. They need to uh, come back with another two or three goals if they've got any chance of being in this game. And bounce yeah. down with umpire Blewett. Clinton Bennett contesting for Lincoln City against John Keane. F bounce favours Bennett. Keane picks up his tap though. Taken by Shane Mason. Kicked down to the uh, half forward line. Matt Foster got a push in the back there. He's take the ball. Gets it on fairly quickly, but oh, kicks it in the man on the mark. Picked up by Dallas Keane. Kicks the ball high in the air. Dale Elliott compete, right. competing. Nice uh, spoil by Matt Foster there, but uh, Midwest has taken over here. Britt Brit Grokey. Handball's infield to Kim Newton, who's looking for Trevor May, who's streaming up the other side wing. Yeah, it was good vision there, too. Handball's on to John Hastings. They're teammates, so they know where each other get. Hastings and it's another kicks goal. truly. Well, two, two quick goals there by Midwest. So they're taking, uh, really dominating this game at the moment. Just the teamwork and the, uh, the voice that they're using at the moment is uh, quite superior to the uh, Lincoln City side. So it takes Midwest on to six goal nine to one goal one Lincoln City. How many um, how many trainings has Midwest had? Was it two or three trainings or not? Oh, they trained before the uh, earlier game against uh, Far West three weeks ago, but uh, they would have been training for the last two, maybe three weeks. Punched by John Keynes there and on the uh, half forward line for Elliot Midwest. Elliot the ball on. Got the ball missed by Jason O'Brien and uh, Craig Akers comes in to take the ball, gets tackled. Hastings applies the tackle. Grenfell jump, uh, jumps in there for Lincoln City. With the Hastings gets the ball out to Humby. Frisky in there, dives after it. And we've got a bounce up. Fairly uh, heavy work there at the moment. They're all putting the bodies in hard and uh, just on the left half forward flank. Probably about uh, 15 players at the bounce down at the moment, so it's a bit uh, scrambled here. Tim Blewett takes the ball, Go. gets rid of two tackles, and the handball down to Jason O'Brien, who takes the ball, not quite. Looks like we've got another bounce down, maybe. And uh, the ball goes over the boundary line for throwing. Yep. Yes, the Lincoln City players don't seem to be handling the ball quite as surely as the Midwest players and a few nice more ruck, fumbles. Nice ruck there by Mib. Uh, Tim Blewett starting to come into the game here. Tries to lay a tackle onto who was that? Kane McAvoy. Kane McAvoy. looking for Ben Hogan who's just missed the mark. Ball taken by Craig Akers but he's tackled very fiercely. Good tackle that. Didn't give him any chance. Ben Hogan he's received a slap in the face or something there during the play and he's running towards the bench. Nice tap there by Scotty Jarvis down to Kim Waters. He drives it into the centre. Attempt to mark. Uh, Tim Blewett punches it on, but you've got Dave Bennett there picking the ball up from Midwest. Oh, he's very good composed. player. He's very, very cool customer, Dave. Plays for the Woodner Club. From one cool customer to another. Kim Young Waters. Ant Anthony Richter's just come on for Ben Hogan, who's just gone off with, a, I believe, a minor injury. But... Scotty Jarvis attacks the ball quite fiercely there. Nice, nicely done there. Kick down to Matty Foster at the centre half forward mark. O'Brien punches the ball clear. Tim Rhodes in there, fighting hard. Going to have a ball up right in the centre. Bounce down area. Good bounce too. Yeah, we're getting Bennett gets a tap that. forward. 
taken by Matt Foster, but uh, just Dave Bennett bounced out of his hands. Dave Bennett comes up, Not kicks a... it up to the, uh, I suppose, the half forward line there. Kane McAvoy gets a kick forward, but it's going to be picked up by Lincoln City. Kick, kick back to the wing. Kicked out to Michael Packer there. Anky Hood picks the ball up on the second go. Handball's on to John Hastings. He ducks around. He's getting a fair bit of the ball today. He does, yeah. Kane McAvoy again. He's Richter will fly from the back. Got a touch. Taken by Greenfield. He's tackled. Taken by Troy Callis. Scotty Jarvis has got the ball. He's being tackled left, right and centre there. Taken by Mark Williams. He just uh, jibs it out Over to the, the boundary bound. line. Quite a safe ploy that too. Didn't right. really have anywhere else to go there. No, right in the pocket. And we're at the uh, forward pocket for uh, Midwest. Ball taken by uh, Baldock. Handled to Hastings. Kicks left foot into Richter, the uh, forward. Not competing. Well, was competing, but didn't make the mark. And it looks like you've got the uh, vice captain for Lincoln City, Ron Evans, at the bottom of the pack. Just gives the ball over to umpire Adamson. Have a bounce right on the goal square. Mid balled up for Midwest. Ball comes out to Sean Humby, who has a hurried kick, but taken up by Ron Evans, is it? Yep, Ron Evans. Kicks down to the uh, half back line for uh, Lincoln City. And you've got Shane Mason contesting there against, I think that was Britt Grokey, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's Britt. I don't know that Britt's quite 100% fit today. He's not moving with the agility he normally displays at this stage. The ball in here. Ball taken by Trevor, Trevor May. May. His handball's out in the open, give them all a chance. A fair bit of time there too, he uh, didn't do too badly. Yeah. Ball taken by Brad Doyle. Oh, sorry, Brad Millick, that is. Anky Hood almost picked up a worm burner there. Trevor May comes clear, kicks forward out in front of Richter. Oh, he dropped what so he should have marked. Ball taken, not, no, still not taken yet. Now Richter's it's taken. back in there working hard again. Taken by Brett Doley. Kane McAvoy fighting hard for the ball on the pack. And it's still in play there. Ball kicked out by Scott Jarvis. But Kimmy Waters trying to lay a tackle on to uh, Sean, Sean Humby. Sean kicks to the goal square, but it's all Lincoln City there. Yeah, the ball taken Three by players Jason there. O'Brien there. He'll, he should take a bounce, or oh. he handballs over the top. Handball to Craig Akehurst. He handballs back to uh, Ron Evans. Now he drives down to the wing area, down to Shane Mason. He's got a, He's got a bit there. of room. He should play on there. Plays on nicely. Short kick into Tim Blewett. That's picked up by Dave Bennett. Yeah, well read, Dave Bennett. Nice there. little chip up to John Hastings in the centre square. He drives he kicks down for a lot of good kick. Dave Bennett again, followed up very well there from the half back line. He gets it on to Dale Elliott, who's going goalwards. And Baldock almost shepherded it through, but it's just offline for a behind. Good team play, good team play there by uh, mid Baldock. Definitely a bloke that likes to get into the one percenters. Good kick out over to the 50 metre line. Um, Bit of shepherd in there. Yeah, going to go Lincoln City's way. Brett Doley takes the uh, takes the kick there. Drives down to the wing, down to Tim Blewett. He's also interfered with by Dave Bennett. And I think he knew that as soon as that happened. Although he didn't like it. <laughs> All right, we've got Tim Blewett here on the uh, the far wing there. Kicking it down into a bit of a scrappy kick, actually. Yeah, Anky Hood, a yeah, bit of a high tackle there. No, nah, the ball's got to go oh, back. I thought Guru might have had it there. Yeah, he was he was wanting to get off. Yeah, he looked pretty keen, a... didn't he? Kick up to the wing, up Sean to uh, Humby Sean Humby. Takes a good overhead mark. If you're looking to play on. Sean's from Alliston. Good player. Fairly Kane high Williams kick up into the, the forward line. The ball's the taken. Nice strong grab there by Scott Jarvis. He also plays for Lincoln South. Hamble's over to Kim Waters from the way back side for Lincoln City. Kicks into the centre. Ball taken by Shane Mason. Kicks he drives, drives down to the centre half forward line for the City. Three, three Midwest there to one. Oh, that's... That's Looked like it was a bit of a high tackle on, uh, on Maroon. Oh, yeah. I think the umpire there might have had the, uh, the shutters down. Bounce down, 
Good bounce. Keane gets a tap over his head. Uh, it looks like it should be a mark to Brett Dawley. No, yes, he's paid. He's got the very distinctive long blonde hair with a bit of a headband there. Kicks down to the half forward line to Shane forward. Mason. Looks like he's, he's, Mason's still going for it. It's tackled and holding the ball. He's been in the play quite a bit. He this has. Quarter, Shane Mason. Taken away by Sean Humby. Kicks up to the wing to uh, Trevor, Trevor May. May. Oh, um, poor kick, Trev. It's Troy Callis going for the ball there, but cleaned up, mopped up nice, quite nicely by uh, Clinton Bennett. Sean Humby ducks in. He's got about four Lincoln Cities against him there, but the ball comes out to Kane McAvoy. He kicks forward looking for Frisky. Ducks around. He handballs to Juddy McCormack, back on the one-two, and he has a poor kick forward as well. A bit of pressure put on, on him by uh, Jason O'Brien there at the uh, centre-half back for uh, Lincoln City. Ron Evans taking the ball. Just chips it out. Not quite sure who that player there is. Kick in look into the centre square for Lincoln City. Mark. Ball taken by Mark Williams. He's a left footer. He's looking downfield. Just pops it up to the centre forward. forward. Moran at the back gets a punch. Dallas Keane does the crumbling. Just out to this wing, the yeah. closer wing here. That wind has a had a bit of effect on the ball there in the last few minutes. Nice so handball to Britt, Britt Grokey there. He sizes up his options again. He's looking for Richter. Oh, nice kick. He should have grabbed that. Right, ball over to Hastings. He just chips it over, over to uh, Sean Humby. Sean Humby. Oh, on the 50 metre, he goes short again to Richter, but he's behind on this occasion. Troy Callis just Callis. kicks it out to uh, Sean Humby side. again. He's yeah, doing he's a lone effort there at this stage. Sean Hoy kicks it in heavily. Ball taken by uh, Clinton Bennett. Kick down into the uh, centre position. Kim Newton picks up behind the pack. Out to Trevor May. He's short again to John Hastings. Playing around with it a bit here, but they're getting away with it at the moment because they've yeah. got uh, the numbers at the ball. They Michael Baldock. Oh, and a yes. lovely mark by uh, Michael Baldock. Really he's concentrated gonna, there. He'll be on a very acute angle here. I, I reckon he'll, he'll look to pass off. That was quite a difficult mark as he, the, the ball was swirling around in the air there. He had to really keep his eye on it. He'll have the wind against him a bit, but uh, he should, he's going to have a go at it. Oh, it looks like he's kicked that he too. He has too. That's a good effort. He's a quality player, Baldock. He is, yep. No, no distance a problem there, just a good sharp angle and moved around a bit to his right and just popped it through. So that takes uh, Midwest to seven goals, ten. Yeah, it's not good signs for uh, Lincoln City. One goal. Uh, Midwest kicking goals into this breeze and the breeze is actually coming up quite, uh, quite strongly at the moment. If they don't start manning up, I think they're, they're probably playing a little bit loose here, Lincoln City. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ball well, taken by Scotty Jarvis in the centre there. Just dribbled a kick out to the half forward line for Lincoln City. Dallas Keane picks the ball up on the half back line for Midwest. Kicks left foot. It's Sean Humby, his Elliston teammate. He kicks it into the centre to Kim Newton, another Elliston lad. Humby's having a field day here at the moment. Kick up to mid ball off again. Takes the ball at about the 45 metre mark. Yep. Decides just to slow the play down a little bit. Yep. He's going to go to the square. And Clint Bennett just uh, thumps it over the back. So yes, the uh, Midwest still uh, peppering the goals here, really. Yeah. Bennett just decides to kick to himself. Now drives it out to the, uh, the half back area for Lincoln City. Don Evans Kane. gets in there quite nicely. Boys are fighting for the ball there, very hard. It just slows it up there so you, Midwest couldn't get their running game going. Very committed. It's not a bad bounce from the umpire. Mid ball up, gets a fist to it. Bit of a scrambly kick there, didn't yeah, get, it, yeah, get ball, much distance with it. Handball right. out by Hastings there to Dallas Keane. Michael ball up. Oh, lovely handball. Anky Hood. Anky's going for the goals. Ben Hogan at the back there. Well contested Brings the ball there by, down. by Clinton Bennett. Good contest there. Oh. And holding the ball. Holding the ball. That's, oh, that's a new one. Yep. 
Uh, ball kicked out of Tom George in the, uh, oh, I suppose it's still in the pocket there. And Hastings guarding him quite closely. Drives it into the se oh, centre wing here. Brit and uh, Shane Mason interfered with there by Britt Grokey. So he'll take the kick. Mason looking downfield. Kicks the ball down to Moran Bryant. Moran does a very good spoil there. A disciplined spoil. Up to the wing here. Dallas Kane kicked it forward. Dale Elliott. He's set looking to centre it to Hastings. And McAvoy there. Good yeah, mark good, by Hastings. Good mark. Under quickly. pressure. Handball's on. Kane McAvoy running on. Not a great kick, but no, not a good pick, kick. picked up by Lincoln City there. Yeah, taken by Troy Callis there. Kicks out to uh, Ron Evans. They've got a few players here at the moment, uh, Lincoln City, but he's driven long, driven out to Brett Doley, and he's just Smart. managed to take, him, take the mark. Right on the line. Yeah. Not many options here for Lincoln City, so they're just driving long for the moment. Bryant goes up for the mark. Moran manages to uh, end up with it. Has Left it. foot kicked down to it. Looks like the mark's going to be taken by Tom George, though. Sends the ball down to the centre half forward area. Dave Bennett held his man well then. Ball went over the back to Kane McAvoy, who's getting a lot of touches. Kim Newton kicking out. Richter's in front this time. But yeah, Kane. good contest there actually. Bit of body Both work there. He's Simon Grenfell. Grenfell and uh, the ball's out on the full there. Just enough pressure to put him off to get him to kick it out on the full. Uh, looks the kick's to be taken by Ron Evans. We're at the 20 minute mark of the second quarter. Good kick there by Lincoln City. That was that was a mark too. Good mark. By Kane, Kane McEvoy. McEvoy. Yep. Kept his eye on it all the time. Good concentration. Ben Hogan made a big lead, but he's ignoring him. Now he passes off to Dale Elliott. Dale he's, is getting the mark. Looks like uh, well, Darren Miller's been penalised for uh, interfering with him, not watching the ball and looking at the player. I think the umpire might have ruled he shepherded him off. Yeah, yeah. 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 Elliot kicks, kicks truly. Yes, yeah. they're all clapping. Good goal then from Dale. So they got about a. Uh, Ooh, and about a nine goal lead at the moment. Not quite a nine goal lead Midwest. And we're approximately 20 minutes into the second quarter. Breeze is a bit, a bit inconsistent, kind of comes up every now and again. It's just dropped off in the last couple of minutes. Umpire blew it. Bouncing up. Good bounce, but Keane goes for the two hander over his head. Sean Humby's picked it up and he's kicked it forward to centre half forward and Mick Baldock's marked over his head and he plays on. Ben Hogan using the oh, body well. Yeah. Well weighted kick too by uh, Michael Baldock. Just gave his full forward enough chance just to out manoeuvre his opponent. Ben Hogan doesn't look to look like he goes in too many 40-hour famines, does he? No, they tell me really they, they, they tell me he's lost a lot of weight to what he used Has to he? be. Oh, I believe, yeah. Lincoln City doing everything they can to put him off, but it looks like he's just squeezed it through for another six-pointer. Yes, he has. I've got him down for three goals at this stage, but he may have the extra one now. I'm, I am missing one on my card here. Well, at this moment, the uh, Midwest, I think they're getting a lot of their attacks coming from the half back line, one grabs and, and the quick handballs. Keane gets the, uh, the tap again, but Blue grabs it, gives it over to uh, Mark Williams. Wade O'Brien there. Then on to Matty Foster there. Anky Hood gets a little chip forward and it's going to dribble over the boundary line on the half forward flank for Lincoln City. Yeah, he did quite well there, he's under a bit of pressure there, so just dribbled it away. Siren so there, around about the 50 metre mark. Ruckman, under bounce there, but, oh, 
good handball out to Trevor May. He's got plenty of time here. He looks just forward. stabs it into uh, mid Baldock. Kane McAvoy taps it clear, but it's like Kim Waters has got the ball. He's got a fair bit of pressure. Gets it out. Oh, pulled him without the ball there. Free kick to Lincoln City player. Yeah, I think he might have been unfortunate there actually. He's good kick down to Brett play. Doley there. He's Takes the, the ball and he plays on immediately. On. Good, another good kick to Shane Mason. He doesn't quite pick it up. Now gets Wait free. He's got a bit of time. Yeah. Just chips it oh. to Matt Foster, who's not able to take the mark. Mopped up by uh, Tim Blood over to Brett Doley and again to Shane Mason. Dave Goes for another and kicks it out on the fall. Yeah. Good yeah, pressure of, there by Midwest. A lot of pressure there. Force the error. So Moran to kick it out for Midwest. Yeah. And deep in the uh, in the back, back pocket. Goes short. I think he's making him kick over the mark. Now's your option, now's your option. Yeah, I think that blue was saying that you must kick over your mark. Doesn't make too much difference. Looks he drives like he it down to the half back line. Looked a bit kicked a bit longer this time, but looked the same to me. It did didn't it? The ball taken by Darren Bryant and he's pinged for holding the ball. Dallas Keane gets the free. Kicks kicks. Ronnie Evans. It's did quite well there actually. Hastings takes the ball, gives it over to Dave Bennett. He handballs back to Kane McAvoy. He kicks forward. Darren Miller contesting here. Not able to Kane Williams mark. grabs a handball. A lot of handball there coming from the Midwest side. Ball taken by Jason O'Brien. He just slaps, slams it on the boot there. And Bryant takes a very nice mark there. Darren Bryant. Got to do something here to get themselves into the play. Kicks with the left foot. Kicks a screwy. Good, good dub too. Good roving there. Rick Grokey gets it on to Juddy McCormack. He looks out to Guru Moran. He'll pick the ball up. Handball's back, misses his man and gives Lincoln City a chance yeah, here. Brett Dolly's come away with it there. Over into the other, Across the other pocket. Mark Williams is going for the ball here. He's being grabbed hold of, I think. Yeah. He played for it, but uh, it was there, technically. Well, it's quite a technical umpire. So we've got uh, Mark Williams for the Lincoln City side on quite a reasonable angle, actually, yeah. lining up for what now would be 30, uh, 35 metres. What would be Lincoln City's second goal only? Good left foot dob. I think I he's think ended he's up with the point just though. Just offline, I think. Yeah. So Wade O'Brien coming over to uh, yeah. get the kick out. Uh, Juddy McCormick. Juddy McCormick. He'll take the kick in. Go straight looking, down the centre. Looking for Wade Kane uh, McAvoy there. Good he kicked to Gave the mark and runs on. Goes with the left foot. To the centre wing, taken by Elliot, out in front of his eyes. Stick Decides to centre it, and it's going... Enki Hood there. Enki Hood. He plays on, kicks it on, looking for Ben Hogan. Ben, oh, I think he's used a little bit much body there. Yeah, Clinton Bennett taking the mark there. And that's the uh, end of the second quarter. The score's uh, Midwest, 9 goals, 11.65 to Lincoln City, 1 goal, 2, 8 points. So they've got a very handy lead here yeah. at the moment. Good. Good quarter then by Midwest. The runners are definitely giving them the advantage over Lincoln City. And at the moment, Midwest are killing them in the yeah. air. Yeah, I think, and that, the depth of their smaller players too is, you know, the quality of them. I think oh, yeah. is, overshadows the Lincoln City side, uh, creating the option. Plenty of handball being put to advantage. Umpire Adamson to get the game going for the second half. Let's see what Lincoln City can do this yeah, quarter. Yeah, beautiful bounce there. Gives the Ruckman a good chance at that. Pushed Trevor. out by Timmy Blewett there. And uh, the attempt to kick on by Jason O'Brien. Now he's got the ball. Kicks it down to the uh, 50 metre mark. Down to Shane Mason. But mopped up very nicely there by Wade O'Brien eventually. Has a left foot out to the little set, centre wing. Dale um, Elliott competing with his opponent there. And yeah, Ron Evans going for the ball there. And, ball uh, going over the boundary for a throw in. 
I think they both really just fell over. <laughs> Good ruck work by uh, Scott Jarvis there. Handball to uh, Mick Blacker. Packer. Packer. Yeah. Trevor May takes the ball. to Dale Elliott. He's handballs into the man. Uh, Mark Williams has shovels out of the ball there, but uh, to a Midwest player. Dallas Keane. He's running through the centre and kicks forward. Anthony Richter out on a strong lead and takes a real good mark. Yeah, not, much the, uh, not much the uh, Lincoln City player could do about that. That was just a very good kick. He's just a young lad, this guy, and he, I think he could be 17. Still plays under 17. Good long kick into that forward line, but uh, looks like he didn't kick over the mark properly, according to umpire uh, Adamson. I think he's being a bit, uh, a bit, bit technical, technical there. there, yeah. Slowing up the game. Still, uh, you're not going to argue with him. No, he's the man in charge, and whatever oh. he says will go. Richter will take another kick. He'll look for Hogan's supplied the lead, but no, he's gone long and he's going to sail through for a point. A bit over 50 metre kick that. Yeah, it's a fair distance in that kick. Just slid off the side a little bit. And Darren Bryant to take the kick out for Lincoln City. Goes long with a mongrel kick to uh, Juddy McCormack's picked that up. The 50 metre mark. Right on the 50 metre line. He'll, he'll look the pass off. Not the greatest of kicks there by the, uh, the fullback from Lincoln City that stage. Come on, let's offer him Tony Lewis just come on for Richter. He's gone down into the forward area. Not much activity in the forward line at the yeah. moment. They're, uh, they're just, just all letting him kick it. Waiting around for the ball to arrive, I think. Oh, he's oh, kicked it in. Smothered by Jason O'Brien, but oh. he's gone over the mark, so Blewett's uh, bringing him down 15 metres. That'll eventually bring him up to the, the, goal, uh, the goal line. Certain goal for Midwest, unless something dramatic occurs. And Bryant uh, visually displays his disgust at that uh, decision, although there wasn't much doubt about it. The Cormac pops it through, just a regulation goal there. Caught a few goal kickers for. Midwest, showering around. I've got one, two, about six of them at this stage. Score goes to uh, Midwest 10 12, to Lincoln City 1 2. Empire blew it, bounce favours John Keane a bit. It's uh, going to be bottled the up there. Yeah, pack. Looks like there's going to be a bounce up, and uh, blew it comes in to take control yet again. Another good bounce. And I think uh, well, Scott Jarvis has used the body pretty well. Supposedly eh? interfered with there. Goes on to Bryant. He kicks it down to the uh, the half forward line or Sean Humby. Tommy George is in there taking the ball, slams it onto the boot there. Up to Kim Waters and Wade O'Brien puts a fist attempt, in there. Right? Tries to send the ball to Shane Matson. Mason, sorry, and he takes the uh, the mark. Yeah, about forty metres from goal. Not a bad ploy there, centering it, trying to do something uh, different. At this stage, they haven't had much luck, so trying to change up things a bit. Kicks through, and that's a, a nice kick. That looks kick. to be pretty straight to me. That brings up the second goal for Lincoln City, so give them a bit of a lift. Nice work there by Tom George to get the, the ball on quickly, just to get onto the boot. And, uh, a good long straight kick by Shane Mason. Umpire Adamson again in the centre of the ball, bounces down. Keane gets an indecisive tap, but ball taken. taken by Jason O'Brien. Dave Bennett comes from Midwest to mop up. Handball's on to Kane Williams. Out in the half forward line, he kicks Good to the kick. square. Oh, it's a great kick. Tony Lewis there marks the ball on his chest. He's just come on just a few minutes ago. Be his first kick for the game. Midwest are doing well here. They're really playing the percentages. Um, you know, kicking, not getting stuck in that uh, in their pocket as great Flinders did during the last game. They got stuck in the pocket a little bit uh, down that end. So they're centering it as soon as they can. 
And well, it looks like he's just managed yes, to nudge Tony it through for, a, for another major. First kick, one goal. He's from Streaky Bay Club and a renowned goal kicker. So plenty of yeah, they've got plenty of depth in, in this side. A lot of high skill, good quality players. Not taking anything away from the Lincoln City side, but they just seem to be outmatched at the at the moment. Yeah. Keane gets a good thump forward, but is picked up by Lincoln City with a hurried kick forward, but. Wade O'Brien's on the end of it, if he can come clear with it, but his opponent's done well. Handballed it forward. With Packett there just tries to soccer it. Tommy George uses his body quite nicely there, and uh, Mark Williams punches it on to Timmy Blewett, who's trying to pick that up. Gets the ball, handballs it to uh, Tom George. He'll go for goal. It's and not a bad looks effort. Like it's it's just offline. This appears that uh, John Keane is uh, is dominating the ruck play at the moment. Certainly, yeah. He's actually playing against his old teammate from Lincoln South in yeah. uh, Scott Jarvis. So yeah. Scotty would know exactly what he what he does, yeah. but he just can't manage to, to do anything about it at the moment. Yeah. Moran gets a handball on to Enki Hood. He kicks down to the centre wing. Kane Williams at the back, but he's missed yeah. it. Callis trying to grab it there. Mark Williams mops up for Lincoln City and kicks it down to Tim Blewett. He goes up to the... Yeah, Going for the centre. Moran, oh, oh, good mark. Great mark. He was Nosed out by Matt Foster there, but still manages to take the mark. It's a bit of a dribbling kick to Jason O'Brien. Oh. He slips over, but uh, manages to gain ground, but just kicks it to the... Uh, Juddy McCormack there. Forward pocket again. It's in the back pocket. Kicks the uh, other side of the ground to John Keane. Comes off hands. Roved well there by Britt Grokey. He'll go for a run. Kick it long, down to the centre wing. Michael Baldock. Handballs back Look, to Trevor May. Trevor, he's getting in there, falling over, but uh, you still got Kane Williams with the ball. Looks over his shoulder, great vision there, and kicks it over to uh, Phil Nichols. Phil Nichols must have just came on the ground, I believe. He, he screws it back the to, the, to the goal front. Tony Lewis picks it up. Second kick, oh. two goals. Good play there by Midwest. Got the ball on very quickly. Managed to get a few loose players going there. And you've got your... I notice you've got your uh, players in the centre there actually looking back to their backmen and uh, applauding them there. Yeah. Good Look. run from there from Britt Grokey. Got the ball moving pretty quick. Got it downfield and opened the play up. They created the options. Yeah, they really are um, outclassing this side at the moment. That's how much they can do. Uh, umpire Blewett sends the ball down again. Keane will tap this down. Kim Mac Kane McAvoy kicks forward. The uh, ball mopped up by uh, Scott Jarvis. Handles back to, I think that was Tom George, to Darren Miller. He sends it to uh, Blewett. Tim Blewett. He's marked on the chest. and He's going he's over. Looking, he's got a man on his own out. Yeah, on Isaac forward. Christian. Isaac oh, Christian drops the ball. what he should have marked. He's got enough time to recover, though. And he sends it up to Shane Matson. although Wade O'Brien intercepts. Handles. And, he's got a couple of blokes there on the run. John Keane. Kicks it a little short, chip to Michael Baldock. Baldock seems to be controlling the situation at the moment. He's looking for an option. Looks to be enjoying himself. Just sends it in short and... All Lincoln City just there. Not yeah, not ball taken by Darren Bryant. Kicks over to Tim Blewett. Save chest mark and he goes over to uh, Mick Packer in turn. I think they're just kicking and yeah, hoping at the moment. There. Link. The ball will come off hands to Dallas Keane, who handles to Inky Hood. It's a wobbly old kick around the corner. Gets the uh, the ball on very quickly. Good tackle, though. Ooh, a bit high. A bit high. Lincoln City can get a kick right yep. on the centre wing. Brad Millick. I think it's Millick or Millich. My apologies if that's wrong. He goes short to Mick Packer. Takes a safe mark there. Trying to transfer play here and get it into the centre. He kicks to the centre half forward line. Wade O'Brien will mark that on Wade his Wade O'Brien had his name all over that. Did not He'll handball off to here. Phil Nichols. Kick to Kane McAvoy. He's looking. He'll go down the centre. Michael Baldock oh, grabs. Lovely. Plucks it out of the. Lovely grab City. there. His hands. 
Britt Grokey's on the half forward line. He kicks into. Nice he had spoil away by Scott Jarvis. He's uh, not doing too badly actually for the amount of times the ball is coming down to that back line area for Lincoln City. But he manages. On yeah, he manages to get a free from Adamson. Kicks it over to uh, Tom George. And he transfers play into the centre there to Darren Miller. Well, it doesn't look like it's actually been to their advantage. So he's going to go back to Tom George. Yeah. Now he sends it a bit longer down to uh, Kim Waters. And... Ball's over. Kimmy Waters tries to keep that in, but uh, to no avail. We're at around about the uh, 10 minute mark of the uh, third quarter. Bold up from behind. Well, kicked out by Hood, unfortunately, yeah, off, for mid-rest. on the full, so free kick there. We'll kick in to Lincoln City. Darren Miller takes it and just chips it over to Tom George. Those two in the, uh, the back lines there are working quite well, but they're not managing to get any depth yeah. in their kicks. No. Now he kicks no, it onto the centre wing. Midwest have got them covered pretty well up further Darren, up the field. Darren Bryant's got the ball and is being tackled by Mid Bordock. And uh, we've got another bounce down. It's, uh, I suppose it's uh, centre wing. Yep, right on the centre wing. <laughs> Good bounce from the umpire. Keeney gets the tap again. He really is giving uh, the Midwest side first, first option to the ball. His rucking has been yeah. superb. Yeah. Hastings has been very busy there. Yeah. Heard the voice Start from the Baldock ball. and he slots it through for another goal to yeah. Midwest. It'll take them 13th goal, 13 goals, 12 to 2 goals, 3. I'm not sure what coach Ron Simpson's going to do for the Lincoln City side, but uh, it appears at the moment that whatever he does, the Midwest uh, team has uh, got the uh, got the power and the uh, the skills to match him. Yeah. Yes, it might be just a matter of how far. Yes, at this stage, I think the Lincoln City guys will be uh, praying for rain, almost just to slow down the number of attacks at the yeah. goal. Another good bounce from the umpire. Good high bounce. Ball taken by Ron Evans and he's uh, been interfered with. A bit of a with, high tackle there yeah, in the Dale back. Elliott. He handballs off to short and to Tim Blewett there. Puts the player under pressure. Well done by Hood there. Ball taken by Bennett. Clinton Bennett. He handballs off. Right, Jason O'Brien's got the ball. Shovels it over to uh, Bennett again. Bennett again. And then the ball's handled over to Tom George under a lot of pressure yeah, here. He's caught. A lot of heavy tackling going on. Sean Humby. Gets a kick, high kick to the wing. Nice mark. Well, he's been told to play on. on. Uh, kicks over to Jason O'Brien, who takes the, the ball at around about the centre of the half forward line. Ian Hood's standing in the mark there. He just another, goes long. Another mongrel kick. Yeah. Picked up by Juddy McCormack there. He plays straight on. Out to Trevor May, who's got away on, on his own. A bit of time he'll chip there. it back to David Bennett, running through the centre of the ground. He kicks on. More Ben Hogan. Kane Williams takes the ball, down. breaks the tackle, and he's clear he'll for goal run. here. Should be able to sink this, and he, he does. does. Yeah. With ease. Yeah. Good composure there by Kane Williams. Knew where, where the ball was. Unfortunately for Lincoln City players, it was just uh, balls just coming in far too quickly for them to get any um, any chance to to get the ball out there. They're trying to slow the play down a little bit, but uh, they're a bit too slick, this this mid Midwest side. Yeah. Lincoln City seem to be using a bit more handball this half and uh, trying trying to create something, but uh, they're under too much pressure from yeah, the Midwest guys. The tackling from Midwest has been you know, superior. Williams takes the ball again, gives handball it over to, to Humby. Humby. He'll go long to the square. And looks Hogan like Hogan's the in the best position. Oh, on the chest, yeah. right in the goal square. Probably not much that Scott Jarvis could do about that one. The uh, ball came down very quickly. Very difficult for a fullback to do much when it's uh, you know, coming down so fast, so so often. It's a good play there by Kane Williams to slip the ball over to Humby, though. Oh, 
So you shouldn't have any problem with this, I wouldn't think. Let's kick right. them out of the park. At the uh, approximately the 15 minute mark of the third quarter, it looks like uh, Midwest are handing out a bit of a belting to, uh, to the Lincoln City side, unfortunately. They're outplaying them in all areas of the game. Empire Blue, it's going to put the ball down, <coughs> give them Rux another good go at it. And I think Scotty Jarvis had to actually interfere with John Keane to actually yeah, kept him away from keep it. him out of it. Ball on the wing, Ronnie right. Evans going for the ball here, manages to get around one player, handballs over to uh, Mick Packer, and he just sends it right up into the air. Ball taken right. by Kane McAvoy. Kane McAvoy. He slipped over. Just about to send Empire it down to Trevor May. Plays on. Left foot kick, well, but uh, down to Darren Miller for Lincoln City. He's going to just chip it over to Ron Evans there, who's got no one to kick to. So he sends it down long to... Kicks to the other end of the square. Half forward. Humby and Wade O'Brien comes away with it. He'll have a left foot jab down to Dale Elliott on the wing. Send it down to Hogan there. He's racing out like a steam train here, but taken by Clinton Bennett and uh, mopped up nicely. Kicked over to uh, Isaac Christian. Oh, he kicks into the man on the mark, and lucky for him, the ball over. goes over the sidelines. Yeah, good pressure there from Britt Groke. He's a, he's a real terrier. He works hard at the ball. I'm sure he's, he's down a bit on form today. Though. I think he's carrying a bit of an injury. May not be 100%. Ball taken by Ron Evans and uh, back to Packer. Handball's over to uh, Darren Bryant. He sends it out. Under the wing. Under the wing. Pressure there by Moran and Kane Williams. And the ball's come over for a boundary throw in right on the centre wing. Yes, Troy Callis didn't do too bad a job there. He had the ball coming over his, his left shoulder. Pretty difficult. So we're at centre, approximately centre wing. Keeney will taps it clear. Probably a bit too much uh, strength on at that time, but uh, you could hear the Midwest players continually talking to their ruckman. He knows exactly where they are. And being the good ruckman that he is, he gives them options at the ball probably about 80 to 90 percent of the time. And he Hits does a left-hander down to Hastings. He passes off to Dale Elliott. He kicks forward. But there's two Lincoln City players there. Mop it up. Taken by Brian. Drive it sends back. it down to the half forward. But you've got Hood contesting. Kane McAvoy. He's been a busy player for Midwest. Good handball. Yeah, yeah not a good option there. No. Bryant's sent it back into the uh, half forward line, but uh, John, John Keane. Keane takes it again. He's a really Campbell's dominating up. player here. Hood, Hood runs around two players and kicks, kicks forward, looking for Dale Elliott at the back. It looks like Hood and Bryant are just kicking to each other at this stage. Trevor May chips up to Michael Baldock, who's on the 50 metre line. He chips on again. Wade O'Brien's run all the way down. Uh, marked right in front of goal. Good vision by mid Baldock too there. Saw him there and just gave him the chance. Well, the Didn't let him down. Midwest half backman run all the way down to create the option and uh, he shouldn't have much trouble with, with this kick. Yeah, a bit of a strange looking kick, a bit of a Stephen Carahan is... kick, but... Uh, Goes through for six points. Yeah. yeah, I think that's about nine goal kickers for Midwest at this stage out of 15 or 16. I just can't see the board at this stage. So. Yes, they really, um, they really are sharing around fairly well. Yeah. I suppose that when that happens, you can yeah. pretty well tell that uh, that side is dominating yeah. their opposition. 20 minutes of the third quarter, and it's 16-12 Midwest to 2-3 St Lincoln City. Blewett puts the ball down. Uh, Scotty Jarvis actually managed to get the uh, the ruck for that time. And Tom George comes over the top. It's play on. Given to Brett Doley. He handles over to uh, Bryant. And the umpire's looks paid like for interference. Kim Waters. Looks like Moran has actually interfered with uh, Kim Waters. 
and he'll be kicking from around about the 30 metre mark, 35 metre mark. Yep, yep. Quite a good kick. That's just a beautiful hooks kick. Just it back very nicely. Yeah, exactly where to put it. It just curled around that little bit. He's a good player, Kim Waters. Not showing up today. They're under a fair bit of pressure, but uh, he's normally a very honest and quite classy player for, for waybacks in the Lincoln League. That's the third goal for Lincoln City, so we well, might manage to get something out of this. Just watching uh, Keane there, he really does manage to palm the ball off uh, really nicely to yeah. his players. Yeah. Again, you've yeah. got Scotty Jarvis having you, to interfere you, with him to you, using the knee. He still gets the ball. Hands, handballs to uh, Humby. He handballs it on and the ball's running clear now. Looks like Phil Nick was going after the ball there. And it's tied up there to just uh, past the uh, 50 metre line. Lincoln player there down with a, an injury. That's Troy Callis. Another bounce down in half forward line from Midwest. Baldock gets a hand to it, comes out to Hastings. Hastings. He handballs back to Dallas Keane, who will kick forward from the standing start, looking for Ben Hogan. But Clinton Bennett's going to mop up here. He's going to transfer play to the other side. Sends it over to Simon Grenfell, who takes the mark. Handballs to uh, Jason O'Brien. Uh, they're playing around back, with it a bit here. Back to Bennett. Bennett takes the ball. He kicks out to the half-back but line, but he's found Trevor May Trevor there. May. And he goes on to Hastings here. Hastings is going to send it long. No, changes direction. Nearly got caught to Dallas Keeney, kicks to the square. Off and hands and goal Bulldog. for mid Bulldog. Yeah. Come off the hands and Bulldog was quick enough to react and got the boot in there and put it through for another major to Midwest. Yeah, he managed to keep his feet or get up from his feet quick enough to, uh, to slam that through. Good presence of mind. Coming up to the 25 minute mark of the third quarter. Yeah, it's all Midwest. 17 12. Quite sure what that adds up to, but uh, it's a 3 3 21 for Lincoln City. Another good bounce from the umpire. Sean Humby, oh, he's ripped around the neck there with a the high tackle. He'll get the free. I think the difference between these two sides is, is possibly they're, they're all committed, but I think their their talk and their first option to the ball. Yeah. You can see there that uh, Phil Nichols was actually called out by Ben Hogan and listened. Oh, and the umpires paid the shit. Yeah, a bit the of a weak mark. That's but, a uh, pretty, pretty weak effort. Kicks on to yeah. Trevor May, and uh, he'd be around about 40 metres out on a re quite an, well, not a cute, but a reasonable angle to be off. on. To Hastings in the pocket. He handles oh. on to Dallas Keane. Clever, clever handball then. He really got that on quickly. Dallas Keane kicks a goal, and that's number 18 from Midwest. And they're just doing it doing as at they will. At yep. I don't think I'd like to be a, a player in the Lincoln City side at this stage. I think it's, I think probably a few people from Lincoln City, maybe Tom George is getting a bit of the ball. Yep. And Darren Bryant's also been serviceable. Yep. Kicked out by Scott Jarvis. Trevor May with a one hand pick up on the way to O'Brien. Handball's back talk to by Hood there, but uh, he missed kind of it. come unstuck a little bit here. He's gonna still got the ball. Oh, Handball's out to, get, to Humby. Lucky to get away with that. Yeah, he was a little bit fortunate. To Dallas Keane, runs through the centre and kicks to half forward to Kane Williams. Oh, and the Lincoln City <laughs> fellas uh, managed to collide with one another. Kick down to the forward line towards uh, Troy Callis. Ooh, he kicks heavy... it up to Darren Miller. Heavy knocker players there in the pocket, right on the boundary. He just centres the ball to Kim Waters there. He's going to get uh, tackled here, but manages to get his kick away. Down to Shane Mason. You've got uh, three John, three John, players on the two here from Midwest. John Keane doing the roving there, picking up and handball in infield. Hastings and Brick Grokey. Brick that Grokey is. cuts right across the ground to Wade O'Brien yeah, on good the vision. side. They're teammates, so would be used to looking for each other. He kicks forward to Tony Lewis who's and O'Brien managed to, to put him off enough to not go for the ball, but he's actually injured himself yeah. in the process. Kane Williams kicks a Good. little short jab, but Dallas Keane again, or oh, he's offline this time. And Good spoil by Kim Waters, uh, but well read by uh, Dallas Keane. 
and I think uh, Jason O'Brien's paying the price for that uh, that attempt at putting his opponent off. Yeah. Clinton Bennett's kicking straight down the middle of the ground, but it looks like Dave Bennett's going to mark this. And he plays on and will return it, I think. Yeah, he just sends it down ben to Ben Hogan. Hogan. Plays on, and that looks like he's just missed. No, no. He's put it over the post, the umpire says. Just another minor score. But Midwest. But they're just doing pretty well what they like at the moment. Yes, it's certainly dominating the game. It's a kick out by Clinton Bennett to Simon Grenfell, and he's quite happy to see that go over the, the boundary line for a throw in. Ball taken Humby. by Craig Humby. Sean Humby, sorry. Sean Humby, yeah. Hogan knocks the ball clear to Dale Elliott. He avoids one tackle and kicks to the goal oh, square. Good and play. Tony Lewis has picked it up just outside the square on a pretty sharp angle. But, uh, I don't think he'll have any problem with that. You can, see when, the, uh, him right around. you can see when the Midwest players getting the ball, they're centering it to the goal square every time, and their forwards actually know that. And he's passed off to... Ben Hogan, who's on a little bit better angle, and he'll go back and kick for goal. That would be probably four or five at least for Hogan now, wouldn't it? Yeah, I've got him down for four, but I, I may have missed one. I don't and we should be virtually ending this uh, third quarter. Yeah, we've five minutes of time on just about. Kane McAvoy there is coming off the ground. Kim Newton running on for him. And I think he might have missed Ben Hogan there. The umpire's had a big run there, so yeah, he's offline on that one. Yes, you wouldn't want to make that umpire run too far. Clint Bennett kicking out for Lincoln City. And he's he's undecided or he's changed direction again. And he's gone over to Tom George in, in the pocket. pocket. He's and dropped he's the ball and has gone over the boundary line. And thankfully for the Lincoln City side, that's the end of the third quarter. The scores are Midwest 18-15, 123. Hogan's going to take a kick here. Oh, he is too. He must have been over the line when the bloke touched it, so he's well, going to kick for goal. He may get the chance for another, either a point or a very difficult a angle. Goal. But, uh, distance won't be any problem. And he's managed to oh, hit the post. Hit the woodwork. Good effort. Looked like he's going to jag that for a moment. Yeah, it was a good effort. Pretty hard to hit that post. <laughs> so the score is at the three-quarter mark. Midwest 18-16, 123, I think that makes it to 3-3, 21. Uh, 124, sorry. 103 point margin at three-quarter time, so Midwest have really continued on with their dominance in this game. And, uh, it's a fair walloping. It is, yeah. There's not a lot more you can say about it, I don't think. No. Yes, they, they start off with a good first quarter and just built from there. Yeah. Wasn't much doubt about uh, even at half time, it looked like it's going to be a fairly grim grim game for the uh, Lincoln City side. Yeah. Unless there's going to be some type of uh, miraculous event. His best players, <coughs> Midwest, you could name any number of them but uh, oh, there's been very few passengers in that John side. John Keane, Dallas Keane, Trevor May, John Hastings has been very busy, Kane McAvoy has been pretty busy. I didn't actually think Britt Grokey has been playing too badly either. It's no, Wade, Wade O'Brien. Wade O'Brien's done quite a bit of run, run right down, kicked the goal during that quarter from half back so that's, you know, that's just showing the options that they've got isn't it. And uh, Dave Bennett there at the back lines there really is, uh, I suppose, taking control of the situation. Looks like the Colonel really, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 he's just a cool customer. Yeah, he doesn't panic. Yeah. Very good under under pressure. Yeah. Only about 17 goals up. Yeah, 17 goals and one. Well, here we go for the last term of the final match, the Mortlock Shield for 97. 
Abramson's put down a really good bounce. Keane gets quite a good tap. But Ronnie Evans gets Ronnie it Evans. out. Phil Nichols is trying on, in the bottom of the pack there. And then Dumpy's going to have another bounce. Yeah, I don't think there's too much else he can do about that. Well, Shepard away ball from the ball. Ball taken by there. Darren Miller. But uh, Kane Williams comes out with it. Handball's on to Juddy McCormack. He'll go wide out the wing. To Trevor Ian May. Hood. Ian Hood, Trevor May there. He handballs back to Trevor May. May. And he centres the ball. Not a great kick no. to Scotty Jarvis. He Tom Hastings though. goes in with the boot and tries to kick the ball off the ground. But ball comes out to Shane Mason. He handballs to Simon Grenfell, who quickly slaps it onto the boot. Ian Hood. And Tom Hood. George wraps it up. Grabs hold of Ian Hood there, and he's actually got the free. Well, he's paid him holding the ball. Yeah. I suppose he didn't get rid of it. No. Kicks it down to Clinton Bennett, and he's got the sit and... Had a couple of touches, Yeah, got the paid. handball on quite quickly to Isaac Christian. Dave so Bennett. will get a fist in. Yep. Over, Over to Brokey. Brokey. He'll Taking the ball. Good pace by Brokey. Yeah. Brokey. Very good pace. He goes wide to the wing to Dallas Keane, who play on. Left foot. Looking for Down. Michael Baldock. Oh, he's had a bounce shocking pieces. bounce. Simon Grenfell just uh, sinks the boot in there. And Mick Packer's... Inky Hood's working hard this quarter. He's a good, solid player, Inky. And, and we've got a ball up. Peeling for the free kick there, but uh, the umpy's going to have a bounce. It's a bounce down close to the, uh, the half forward or half back line, whichever you please. Ball Hastings. taken by Hastings, over to Hood. He kicks it on to Kane Williams. He's got yeah, the sit again, takes yeah, the ball nicely. He's got he can just run plenty of time. Decides to do the bit unselfish wide act. For ben Hogan there. So he taps it in, keeps the ball in play, but it's taken and over. Brett Doley manages just to grab the ball and get out of there as soon as possible, which is exactly what I'd be doing. <laughs> No Ruckman there. Scotty Jarvis going for it against Kane Williams. Kane Williams wins the tap, kicks it over, and just Trevor May had a hurry the kick there. Back to Dallas Keane. He's popped it up into the goal square and touched through by the Lincoln City player. And Scott I Jarvis think. came through there and scored it. He's actually probably been one of the few contributors for uh, for Lincoln City. He tried yeah. hard all day. Yeah. Ben Hogan appeared to be going to try and shepherd that one through, I think, but. Might have been a better bet to go for the, the other chap come over the top. So the kick out by Darren Bryant. Going down into the centre there to Shane. No, kicking to Tim Blewett. Takes the ball. Meters. Handball's back to Darren Miller. He kicks it on to Shane Matson And a good spoil there by Hastings. Send it over the boundary line for a throw in. The very disciplined side, the Midwest side. Keane gets the tap again. Trevor May sharks it on to Hastings. If he can pick it up, he'll handball on to Dale Elliott. He runs around, handballs. Back Dave to Bennett. Bennett, he's dropped it. Trevor May again. Back to Hastings. He'll have a kick this time. Kick it forward. Hogan's using the body. Nice work there by Matt Foster, but uh, well rode. Tony Lewis snaps around on the left foot, but only for a minor score. Midwest, uh, although at times they're overusing their handball, they really are cutting City to pieces with very slick handball. Yeah, too much run for Lincoln City. Ron Evans spoils at the back. And I'd be see he'd be quite happy to see that going over the boundary line as he is. Probably the best uh, outcome at that, uh, that stage. Can have a great number of people around. No, the ball. Not, not a lot of support for him there, was there? Oh, beautiful rucking by John Keane. Down to Elliot. He kicks into the forward line. Hogan, he's pushed under the ball there. Over the back, taken by Darren Miller. He handballs over to Darren Bryant. And he sends it down to, Send in the direction of... Rick Grokey's going to get under this. He's oh, yeah, well done. Picked up by Simon Grenfell. He fumbles a little bit. Still in there trying. Tackled by him. Taken by Rick Grokey. On to Baldock. Baldock. He'll handball to Dallas Keane. He'll go back to Kane Williams. He could go all the way. 
Oh, well, he's a bit offline on this occasion, but so yeah, thump through for a behind. So Kane Williams has had a lot of the ball today. Yeah, and a young chap too. So. He's a good quality player, that's for sure. Good kick out by Matt Foster. He's gone for 60 and metres. Work too. Over to Shane Mason at the back there. Takes the ball, ducks. Handballs on to Clinton Bennett. He's got a bit of time now. He handballs on to the centre. He's put his man in a bit of strife there, but he handballs back to Clinton Bennett. Just so drops the ball. He's taken by Keane. Back to Keane. <laughs> Dallas Keane, that is. He kicks forward. Hogan at the back. No, he, if he can pick it up, he'll give it off. Hastings running for goal, but oh, he's way off And line. he's got the free from Lord anyway. For a push in the back. Hogan well, definitely was there, so uh, there's no squabbling about that. Legit free. Hogan's coming off, but uh, I would suggest it's only for a pretty well-deserved rest, I would think. And young Richter's about to come back on and have another bit of a taste of the Mortlock Shield. Yes, Hogan has really been giving them, a, you know, a number of options up there at the forward line. Certainly has, yeah. Big, strong chap. Yeah, good focal point. Hastings is Shocker of a kick line. by Hastings. Yeah, out on the full. I don't think that's probably one of the few errors he's done today, though. He's played very well yeah, also. No. Kick out by Matthew Foster for uh, Lincoln City. He's only uh, 16, 17 years old, yep. Yep. so he's got a lot to learn and... Uh, He'll Could do well for this experience. Yeah, better for the experience. The kick over to uh, Michael Packer. Uh, Road by, by Trevor May Trevor on May. the left foot. He's looking for Hastings again. He'll go back. No, he's running around. Go for the square. Richter at the back. Can he? Yes. Oh, and Good lad. Taken it and well played done. on. And he plays on. He kicks his first goal. Yeah, he's in the best position there. Yeah. Didn't panic. Kept his eyes on the ball and then played on. Got, got fresh legs and uh, he's got plenty of jump. So. That takes it up to Midwest 1916 to three goal three, and we're about ooh, six or seven minutes into the final quarter. I think Lincoln City would be quite happy to score a couple of goals during this quarter. Coach Ron Simpson would be, you know, he wouldn't be happy with it, but he'd be happy with a couple more goals just to get a bit of respectability onto the scoreboard. Yeah. yeah. Phil Nichols handles out to Trevor May. He then handles very deftly onto Hood. He goes forward. Richter again. Yeah. Oh, he's got one touch. Come off hands. Hood. Uh, no, it was Lewis handballed it out, but it's been recovered by the Lincoln by City. Darren, Darren Miller, and pushed on by Tim Blood. Phil Nichols there. He gets. Uh, at Mark Williams just sends it out to the wing. And you've got Humby there in pursuit. Handballs to no one in particular. Taken again by Mark Williams on his left boot. Sends it on to Tim Blewett who stops. Realising he was uh, under a fair bit of pressure. Kicks on to Shane Mason. who then handles over to uh, Scotty Jarvis. No, Fumbles very quickly but he manages to get the ball over. A chance to, and I don't know who 22 is. Hasn't actually been in the play too much today. Good attempt by Kim Waters, but the ball manages to uh, go over the sidelines for another throwing. Bennett's been wrapped up there with the ball, and the ump will take another bounce there. Good bounce again. Bennett gets two hands down, but it goes nowhere. Trevor May tries to get the ball clear. No, the umpires can have another go. So. Actually, the uh, the umpires haven't done a bad job today. I haven't noticed them too much. No, no. And it's generally a good sign. If you don't notice the umpires, they've done a fairly good job. That's right. Yeah. Tap by John Kane. Uh, rove by Tim Blewett. He gets scragged off the ball. Guru, he picks the ball up, handballs on to... McCormack, but he's over the line and uh, there'll be another throw in in the forward pocket there for Lincoln City. That'll be one of the few uh, handling errors by uh, even a Midwest player today. They've handled the ball very well. It's been a first uh, grab every time virtually. Yeah. Taken by J uh, Jason O'Brien out of the throw in. 
He's taken down. Grabbed by uh, John Keane. Finally ends up with, is that Humby? Humby again. He Kim, kicks it Kim on Newton to or, Kim Newton. Had it in the arms. Traps it very nicely. And jumped then up very quickly and played on. Kicks it on to Baldock. Baldock. Oh, he's... He Lost looks control. to be fairly tired, actually. He's had a, a good man. game. Big man, too. He's, yeah. had a, he's played very well today. He's given them a, a number of uh, options. It's a good focal point up there. Now he'll have to get up and do the ruck work as well. Oh, he'll be right. Be able to manage it. A non inconclusive tap there, but it's coming out, out by to Williams. Trevor May, and he'll, he'll break clear and kick. Sends well, a Richter penetrating again. kick down to Richter. Oh, and he and he's taking like a good mark. All the money. That was a great kick by, uh, it was that, I suppose that was Trevor May, was it? That was Trevor, yeah. He kicked, kicked forward. To got Rick. it on very quickly. I think that's been the difference between the two sides. They've got it on to actually to yeah. a leading player. Yeah. Rick the mark there in front of the eyes and uh, pretty hard to spoil from there. Always a low trajectory kick. But mark by Darren Miller right at the uh, front of the goals. He handles on to Brett Doley and he does a uh, scrubber of a kick which lands into the Pivot Agriculture sign. And, what, and aren't they a major sponsor for the carnival? I do believe they are. Yes, they've been doing that for how many years now? I'm not sure. Oh, no, beyond me. I'd say it'd be probably two or three years now. Sc scrambly, scrambly play in moment, yes. this final quarter, yeah. It's... Players are getting a bit tired, obviously. They've worked hard. Yeah. Game's beyond doubt, and, uh, and they're just playing out the game, I think. Yes, it's going to be quite a long last quarter for the uh, Lincoln City side. It's been quite a well deserved. I mean, it's not over to the siren goes, but it's a uh, yeah. brave man to pick uh, Lincoln City at this stage. Bold up, handballed out to Dave Bennett, a kick across ground to Britt Grogie. He'll handball back to Dale Elliott. He stands and kicks to the goal line, and I think he's just offline. Yep. Excellent talk by uh, Dale Elliott there, yeah. and, and it's not only the talk, but the, the listening by Grokey. Uh, he actually heard him and gave the ball. Good team play there. Kick out by Matthew Foster for uh, Lincoln City. He sends it out. Good kick Lincoln. out to uh, Simon Grenfell. Oh, the two uh, Midwest guys spoiled each other there, I think. Uh, taken by Ron Evans. He handles over to Mark Williams. He's got a bit of time now. He's having another one. It's two or three bounces here. And sends it down to uh, Kim Waters, Lincoln City, but guru. mopped up by the Guru. Hands balls back to Wade O'Brien. He's looking for Ian Hood. Oh, Ian is. Hood out yeah. there on the wing. And sent up to Kane Williams, who has Good no mark. problem in taking the mark. Straight on to Hastings. He kicks forward. Tony Lewis should mark this, he, and he does. Very strong mark by Lewis. He's under a bit of pressure from Dolly there, but uh, you know, good concentration, eyes on the ball. Good play. And Trevor May is all by himself, and he's just yeah. nudged it over there. So loose checking from the Lincoln City players. I think they've just had enough and yeah. almost given up. He's got away a lot on his own today there, especially on the half forward flank. He must drift up the wing and creates another option. Kicks through for goal and, and I think he, he might, might have, have it. that. Yep. Yep. That's so goal number 20. 20 goals up, 17 points. Very, very lucky they didn't kick straight today on Lincoln City side. So the captain managed to open his uh, his score. No need a head count. <laughs> Another set of bounce. Taken by Shane Mason, but spoiled there. Hastings applied the tackle. Mason goes in again, gives the ball to Ron Evans, who gets the ball onto his boot quickly, but uh, Hood's him. there. He'll pick and it up. Should clean up quite nicely. He's got a very odd kicking style, but very, very effective. Yeah, finds the man. Looked awkward, but there's Trevor May again. He, he's having a field day. He's going for number two. Richter. Richter's judged yes. it beautifully. Oh. Yeah. Pretty well on the line. And and he doing the team back. thing. Good here. lad. Kicks Good it lad. back. Well done. Yeah. Back to Tony Lewis. And Wasn't greedy. Didn't need to be. Game's over and done with, so just keep your teammates in it and enjoy the game.
obviously realised he would have been an unfair angle there too. Yeah. Lewis has passed off, but he's missed the man, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mark taken by Ron Evans for Lincoln City. He plays on, kicks it up in the air, which has been a feature of the Lincoln City play today, unfortunately. Mason there. Dolly uh, tries to sock it on, gets the handball on to Clinton Bennett, and he kicks down towards, uh, I think that's Darren Bryant. No, sorry, that's uh, that's Callis. Troy Callis Mark takes the ball. Wade O'Brien then. The guru Kimmy the Waters well, had his name mark. all over that. Good Very mark. good, Mark. And Mark's in front of uh, Dave Bennett. And he's looks like he's going for goal here. Yeah, about 45 metre kick. Ooh, he's he's managed it. to slide it in again. I think he's just, just a metre short. I think he might have got that actually. Got it over the line in time. No, yep. he is. He has got it. A good kick by Kim Waters. So goal number four for Lincoln City there. We're at the 15, 16 minute mark of the fourth quarter. And uh, it's been quite a dismal day for Lincoln City, but uh, good to see them at least still trying. I think there's only 16 Lincoln Cities out there at the moment. So. It makes things a bit difficult. It does, yeah. And to still go on and pick up a goal. Or good luck to them. Yeah, they're rucking again, and the voice by Midwest has been superb today. Good tackle there by Hastings on Ron Evans. He dropped the ball. Plays, he plays on, on quickly. Kick down to Richter again, who's right in front. Gets a bad bounce. Matty Foster uh, handles it over to Bryant. Tries to swivel out of the situation. Mid ball duck gets it on to Richter, and he's going to go for goal here. Oh, it's a wobbly old kick, to just offline on that occasion. I think the eyes lit up then when he saw those goals, which is yeah. fair enough because yeah. he's definitely in kicking distance. So Matt Foster for uh, Lincoln City kicking out. Goes for another screw. This one doesn't work off. Goes straight to oh. Kane Williams. to takes the, uh, the ball about 50 metres out. He's going back to the square. Nice long Richter kick. Richter one-on-one, -on -one, but Tony Lewis at the back. What's... And it looks like the uh, Matt Foster's actually been interfered with there. He's taking the kick. Kicks it out to the outer side to Ron Evans. He doesn't let him down. Handballs quickly on to Darren Miller. He just does a short chip down to Tim Blewett. And he does a banana ball, banana bender. Trying to keep her in. And Hood's, Hood's got the ball now. He'll go back to the centre of the big John yeah. Keane. Good vision, good talk John by Hastings the two people. Picked it up in front of him. Across the ground, he's got two players here. Britt Grokey, Dale Elliott. Sean Humby left it to grab it hard. He does. Yeah, good effort by Humby there. He's under a fair bit of pressure from Darren Miller. Didn't let his teammates down. But the, uh, not quite the 20 minute mark of the last quarter. Goal. Few, fewer goals this quarter, which is uh, probably good for Lincoln City, but uh, Midwest is still dominating play. Good kick by Sean Humby right to the square, and uh, Clinton Bennett, Bennett puts a fist into it, punches it over for a point. Kick out to Darren Miller, but uh, Hastings reads it. And he's got a bit of time here. He'll duck around the handballs to Humby, handballs on to Grokey. He'll go to Dallas Keane. Dallas will kick out in front of the goal square and Richter's under it again. Good talk by Richter too. He actually called Phil Nichols out there and uh, Phil listened. Good team player, Phil Nichols, and uh, Richter took the mark. He's about 25 metres out. Got a fairly awkward looking kick, but uh, for a young bloke, he's kicked a lot of goals last year. I believe about 87 for the season. First year of senior footy, so. And an old he flat manages to get it through. <laughs> Helicopter one. Yeah, it was a fairly ugly kick, but uh, got yeah. the same result. Yeah. I can see him up here. I think that's his second goal for the match, so. And he had limited time on the ground. and. Uh, He's, he's, he's certainly made the most of his opportunities. Given him of a taste of perhaps better things to come. 
Yes, yeah, from the uh, it appears from the Midwest contingent, I'd say they'd have a fair few players who'd be pushing for EP selection. Well, uh, we've got a free kick here. There was a Lincoln City player in, and the boundary umpires called it. Umpires don't exactly know what's going on here at the moment. The uh, ball's free pretty, to John Keane. Pretty ordinary. I don't think the yeah, umpire was quite necessary. ready to quite ready to put the ball down at that stage. But... Kick on by Britt Grokey, but Ron Evans is in the way to take a timely mark. He's going to kick it down to the wing here. Bit of a flight out, down to Callis. Wade O'Brien gets a hand in there and the ball goes over the boundary. Nice uh, palm down there by Bennett, down to the Packer. He sockers it on. It's going to be mopped up. But there. you've got McCormack Sorry. in the road again. He's been very reliable today. Um, Welcome, Bulldogs. Caught out. Spoiled by Bryant. Ball taken by Mason. He just uh, kicks, kicks it, it into the man. Picked up again by McCormack. He'll look for the option again. Bulldog again. Dale Elliott will mop up. Ron Williams fighting, fighting hard there as he has all day. Ball taken Kane. by Kane Williams. Kane. He looks for his options. Great Kane. vision there to Trevor, Trevor May. He should play on. He and does. Does so and yeah. kicks a goal. Yep. Very good vision there by uh, by Kane Williams over to Trevor May. Obviously I heard him. It's the second goal I've got for Trevor, but... Um, I'm not, not saying I've got them all because I think I've missed a few, but there's... Well, they've kicked enough, so it'll be fairly hard keeping track of the, uh, all the scorers. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got 12 goal kickers at this stage. <laughs> Definitely a sign of a, a good day out from the Midwest side. The scores are 22 19 to Lincoln City 4 3. Ball taken by Hastings, gives a handball out to Trevor May, he sends it down. Good direct Kicks football here forward. by Midwest, but the ball should be taken by Bryant. Mops up here quite nicely. Changed change direction, he's going to go back the other way. Swings onto his left foot and kicks into uh, Mark Williams, who handballs on to Simon Grenfell. He kicks it into Tim Law. It's a bit high for him, though. Coming back there to Juddy McCormack. He handballs to May, who was on to Hastings. He finds Michael Baldock all on his own out in the half-forward flank. Always a bit of a low kick. Richter over ran it a bit, but he's going to pick it up anyhow. There's another Lincoln City player going down. Yeah, That's so looking like the walking wounded at the moment yeah, as, as far as players. Matthew Foster got ca cannoned into by uh, Darren Miller there. Yeah. Didn't realise he was coming and uh, got yeah. belted. Yeah, unfortunately Anthony Richter put the ball over the boundary on the full then, so we'll have a free kick or kick in to Doley from Lincoln City. Dolly sends a, a strange looking kick oh, actually and he's actually kicked it out again on the full. Sorry, he's got to take he's the kick to, again. Didn't come into play. Ah. So, I guess that's the ruling. Yeah, so we're uh, with Dolly here. He's going to kick out. Switch his play, but no, he's, he's being forced by Blewett to kick over uh, over his line. We're up to 25 minutes gone in the quarter now, so. Wobbly old screwy, almost marked by Baldock. He handles out in front of Kim Newton. He's, he'll pick the ball up, has a hurried kick. That's picked up by Lincoln City. Yeah, that was by Blewett there again. Handles yes. over to Darren Miller. He uh, hurriedly puts it onto his boot. But uh, you've got two people, two Midwest. It's taken by Britt Grokey. He centres it. Not a great looking kick. Well spoiled by Wade O'Brien then. He was a bit behind on that occasion. Ball missed there by Kane Ooh. Williams, but it's he's one of the few errors he's made today. Played on the advantage there to Midwest, applied the tackle and was rewarded. Ball kicked on by uh, Humby, and it looks like there's a free to a Midwest player down the field. Yeah, yeah. Tony well, Lewis. So Lewis is going to be lining up for goal, trying to kick their 23rd goal for the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's off beam. Jags it off to the uh, to the right there for a for a point. It's very difficult to pick actually best players for the Midwest side. They've had so many. Yeah, yeah. Who would be your top three? Oh, 
Do Diffi do diffi dare? Diffi do dare? Difficult <laughs> question. I might in insult someone. I'll put you on the spot there. <laughs> yeah, no, John Keane's done well. He's dominated the ruck and given the players first use of the ball. Uh, the little men of, you know, there's numerous players. They've all... Ball. Easy to say they've all played well. They have, haven't they? Ball was yeah. kicked on by Tim Bluer, but it's been mopped up by the uh, by the Midwest side. Uh, Elliot, who run around Evans, kicks to play. He's on the centre wing still. He'll centre it. Enki Hood running through the centre of the ground. I like a count of how many uh, handballs Trevor Mays had today. Yeah. Yeah, Take Phil, Nichols, Phil Nichols on to Brick Grogie. He'll He's go over the top over the director. Top, He's right. going to be under the hammer Might here. Might come unstuck, or will it? No, no. good oh, team play. Yes. Excellent. Oops. Brick Grokey, snared, oh no, it's off the hand. Uh, it looks like it must have been through before uh, he, he managed to soccer it through. It would have been a very, uh, quite a He followed that goal. up well, pretty well, Brit. Kick out by uh, Brett Dolly to Darren Miller, who takes the mark safely there. About 40 or 35 metres out. Clinton, Clinton Bennett, Bennett plays, plays on, kicks down to Dave Dave Bennett. Bennett. He's and going out to Elliot on the flank, no, and plenty Dallas Keane chips in. He He'll go over the top to Elliot. Which he has. And he can steady down the play, although he's got Humby there, I think, in the uh, yeah. centre, just to, decides to kick it down long into the There's square. Two, two and he's actually kicked it right from Richter. Pretty well uncontested there, right on the goal line. Good so pair of hands, should Richter. Be straight in front. Now well, he's stubbed it around the corner and got the same result. Gives him a bit more time for another one. <laughs> That's goal number 23. So the Midwest getting near the end of the game, 23-21 to Lincoln City, four goals, three. So it's a, yes, it's it's a been, real whopping. Though. It is. It's, a, it's an absolute belting. Midwest side is you know, adversely all areas. A few contributors for uh, the Lincoln City side. I think Ron Evans has tried well all day, yep. as has Tim Blewett. Um, and Scotty Jarvis has probably also yeah. been a contributor. Ball taken by 22 for Lincoln City. On to Michael Packer, he sit, sends it down to the uh, goal front. Taken by Wade O'Brien off hands. He sends it out to uh, Trevor May again, yeah. fittingly enough. Yeah. And it's an excellent win for the Midwest side. Yeah. Final scores Lincoln City, four goals, three. 27 been defeated by Midwest, 23 goal, 21, 159. And that'll give Midwest the 97 Mortlock Shield without a doubt. And uh, I think we've both run out of cliches here, so uh, we might just basically uh, leave it at that. Yeah. Excuse me, can everyone just come back a bit because I need to get back a bit further? 